Hey there, everybody. It's Rick Utzer here again. And this is some bonus footage from Ergen Week. We, uh, we got this gun in a little bit late in the week, and weather did not cooperate. And we really wanted to show this to you last week. But as I said, weather did not cooperate. So now we're going to show it to you today. This is the Evidex Ibex. Now, first of all, this was provided, graciously provided, by New England Air Gun. They've got this in various calibers. If you want to see what's available, pricing, all that kind of stuff, check them out at their website. The links and stuff will be in the description below. Now, <clears throat> I had an Ibex previously, so I'm familiar with the platform. This is the, you know, Evidex Rex, but it's the next level up. Okay, so we've got a very different rail. This rail system is awesome. Obviously, we got a massive top rail. We got a big lower rail, and what's new with this particular model is we've got M-lock rails here. So, um, one of the things you can get from New England Air Gun is you can get flip-up sights. These are UTG, they're metal, very nice sights, and these are UTG bipods, but they go in the M-lock rails here on the side. Makes for a very, very nice platform altogether. Now. This is not going to be a full review. That's coming, and I'm running out of light, and I kind of got to do this uh, more quickly than, say, maybe I want to. But I wanted to at least get this in the mix because this thing's just bad to the bone, okay? So we're going to run our FX chronograph. The only ammo I'm going to be shooting today, and I will be looking to get some other options so that we can take a look at them, is I'm shooting the 336s from Hunter Supply. I'm going to run these because they kind of give me a good idea of what kind of power we can expect out of this. Um, We'll get velocity with this, but as you go lighter, like 177 round ball or 210s or 185s, obviously you're going to get a lot more velocity. You drop some power. But I think depending on what you're looking to take, whether you're hunting hogs, deer, uh, varmints, pests, that kind of stuff, you can find something that's going to work pretty well. These guns are, are pretty forgiving when it comes to ammo, i found. So like the 177 round ball, those i found to be very accurate. Uh, to 50 yards, just super, super consistent. So, you know, that is just a great option. It's affordable and you can shoot a, a bunch of it. But today we're gonna go ahead and run the 336s. I'm shooting it as I got it. So this is like the super duper package with the bipod, with the sights. It comes with this muzzle brake, but it also has just a regular end cap too. So um, if you wanted to get something, say from Donnie FL or one of those other guys to make this like, you know, as quiet as it's practically possible, uh, you can definitely do that. So let's just get down and do some shooting. Um, and we've got, as I said, we've got our FX chronograph. Let's see, let's see what we can do. Now I've got a target at 50 yards and I've done like the most basic of sight ins. So let's see, there's a couple little stickers covering up the holes I hit the target with. Um, let's see, again, we're shooting open sights here at 50 yards. Um, let's see how I do. <laughs> Okay, so it does have an automatic safety, which is super nice on this gun, because it's easy if this is open, if you're loading it, if you bump the trigger, you really don't want that coming back. So the automatic safety is really important. Okay, the gun is super light. When I do my full review, the old school air gun review, that I will do with this gun, we'll get length, length of pull, weight, trigger pull, all that kind of stuff. Uh, DB, it's loud, just so you know, without a moderator, it's loud. We'll get all those numbers, but today we're just gonna do a demo. Again, like if you went to SHOT Show and this was on the table, this is, this is what you'd get to do, and I wanna show you, show, I wanna kinda give you that experience here. Okay. All right, so I think I adjusted this correctly. I hope I did. Let's see. 79. Okay, I don't know where that hit. Me and open sights. Let's see here. I'm going to aim a little high. I may have to walk up there and see where I'm hitting. I'm hitting the cardboard, but I can't see. I'm going to aim a little high again. 740. Okay, I'm going to go take a look at that. I'll be right back. Okay. So maybe this is one of those times where I should have had my Hawk binoculars here. And then, what I, then I would have seen that my first shot went right through the stinking bulls, right through the bullseye. So my two shots where I aimed higher went higher. So I'm going to aim 
right for the bowl again and see where we are. Yeah, see? It's just not bad at all. Okay, so open sights, I am not an open sights marksman at all, but I think uh, if I was hunting a deer or a boar or something with open sights, I think we could call it done. I'm gonna go shut that camera down and actually I'm gonna shoot some steel targets um, because I could stretch this out to 100 yards, I'm fairly certain. I'm gonna fill this back up and we're gonna shoot some steel and we'll wrap it up. So our chronograph is still running, just so you guys know. Um, that last string started at 453 foot-pounds and ended at 351 foot-pounds. So obviously, we went from like 779 feet per second down to 687. That's shooting the 336s. So if we go to a lighter projectile, it's gonna be a little bit flatter. Um, we're gonna get to that testing again. We do our old school air gun reviews. So, what you're seeing on the camera, the target cam, is I've got three steel targets. The first one's at 50 yards. The one to the right is a smaller target at 75. And then the one way at the back, that's 100 yards, um, maybe just 101 or something like that. But we're going to go ahead and see if we can hit these. Um, a little bit concerned about the 75 yarder with open sights, but we'll see. Um, all right, I'm going to have to just guess drop because it's open sights. All right, here we go. First target, 50 yards. 786. Okay. Hit really solid, all right. 75 yards, boy, that's tiny. I can barely see it. Safety. 765. Okay, I should just stop right now. <laughs> Uh, by the way, it's the first time I've tried this. Um, I haven't been out here all day. I came out here, put some rounds down the gun, and got the cameras out because I really wanted to get this out on Monday, which is today when you guys are watching this. Um, yeah, okay, that was that was good. I should just stop now. Even though the 100 yards bigger, I think I should quit after that one. All right, here we go. All right. I am going to stop now. Guys, I mean, that is, obviously, I probably winged that one when I was spinning, but nonetheless, uh, that's three steel plates, three for three, uh, open sights with a gun I've spent maybe an hour with. This thing's awesome. I want to say thank you to John and New England Air Gun for sending this out. If you want to know more, the links and everything will be in the video description. We're going to go ahead and wrap up Air Gun Week now. It was a great time. And I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all the cool air guns. I certainly enjoyed shooting them all. Guys, that's going to be it. My name's Rick Utsu here with Airgun Web. This is Airgun Week. Thanks for watching. I want to see if I can hit that again. Can I hit it? Can I hit it? Can I hit it? <sighs> <laughs> I just, oh, that's so much fun.